Hey, how we doing? Right, so, I'm Andy, this is Spider Spiders. Bit of a change of scenery today, we've come to the living room because on what is a very, very rare occasion, um, this house is empty apart from me today. So, you know, usually it's full and I'm having to film in the shed, but yeah, today it's all, all pretty good. Like, um, other reason I'm in here is that what I'm gonna show you is going into this tank here. So this has got my horse-headed grasshoppers, my jungle nymphs and a couple of other little bits in there. Um, and we've got some bits here and we've got a gecko behind me here and yeah so we've got a few bits it's not just the shelves in the bedroom that you usually see like but anyway I digress so yeah these what I'm going to show you is a couple of jungle nymphs that I've had gifted to me recently from Becky over at Lockdown Legs um, I've known Becky for a while now we met uh, working with Bugfest last year and yeah she contacted me asked me if I wanted to take these on and I was more than happy um, it means I've now got four pairs so hopefully we'll uh, get some eggs and and be able to get, get some breeding done with these and um, I have got some other eggs that are up there but I don't know what you may be aware these things can take up probably up to a year sometimes longer um, incubation period so it could be a while that they'll be set up on the top there like um so in the meantime like i say i got myself some nymphs anyway i'm waffling on so i'm just going to shut up and i'm going to show you the footage i'll see you in a bit uh.
yeah now another new addition that i've had recently is um a mature male idiotheli mira the blue foot baboon or the trapped off tarantula as it's often called now i did buy a pair of these a couple of years ago um my female has just molted um, but the male, he molted once and he disappeared. Um, he didn't escape, I know he didn't escape because that just wasn't, it just didn't happen, I know that. But um, I think what may have happened is he may have just died in the tank and over time he's, he, yeah, I emptied the tub out and everything. I just never, ever found him. So he just basically dissolved into the substrate. Um, but anyway, I've managed to get myself a mature male um, ready to hopefully pair with my girl pretty soon she's not long molted so just need to feed her up get a condition get her sort of prepped and ready for it and then we'll have a go at it so yeah i'm going to give you a quick look at that now Jumil idiothelimira, idiothelimira, the blue foot baboon or the trapdoor tarantula as I've already mentioned. Um, really cool species, can't see him making a trapdoor now because all he wants to do is wander around and round his tank, his little tub and, and look for, for the girl that I've got waiting further up on the shelves there. So that's a one to watch out for in the future. Now while we're on the subject of breeding, you may remember a few, a few weeks ago I did a video of my Ophnacus species from from the island of Negros in the Philippines. Um, now, the female, literally she paired with the male, she buried herself away now, so that's happened really quickly. I'm just hoping and hoping that, that there's gonna be some good news in regard to that. But the male, I did try pairing him again with this girl, and I also tried pairing him with the second female that I have. Um, so I'm gonna show you what happened there now. See you in a sec.
so yeah neither of them was very successful um but he did live to survive another day he's now gone on to somebody else so hopefully um they've had a successful parent and they'll have have an egg sack from him and we can get a few more of these in the hobby because they are really really cool looking species i think they're quite underrated massive i think the whole of the off nakers genus is quite underrated if i'm honest um but that's just me so and finally last thing tomorrow it's the northern invert show in barnsley so i'm going to be there um, really looking forward to catching up with everybody um, and meeting some new people. I know there's a few people that I, I, I have met are going to be there and there's a few people that I've not met yet that I'm hoping to catch up with over the course of the day. So yeah, if you see me, just come tap me on the shoulder, say hello. That would be awesome because uh, yeah, I like, like meeting everybody. It's, it's cool. This community is awesome and uh, I just like to keep it going, keep the engagement going. So yeah, if you're in Barnsley tomorrow, come and grab me. If not, I'll, uh, I'll catch you all next week. Cheers, thanks for watching, I'll see you again soon. Ta-ra.